The battle over abortion has transformed American politics over the past half century, and the divide is deepening. Abortion is also deeply personal. In tonight's Weekend Journal, Kate Raditz of CBS station WCCO shares one woman's story. Emily Richter and her husband Bryce couldn't wait to see their baby during her anatomy scan. We were excited. We were we were first time parents. We were excited to find out um, that she was a girl. I knew like I had this feeling that she was a girl and she was a girl. But during that routine appointment on March 13th of 2020, their lives changed forever. You could see the tech. Um, she was she was quiet. She was suddenly quiet in her affect had changed and and then they got to her head and she turned the whole machine off and she said I need to go get your OB. Richter's daughter was diagnosed with a serious birth defect called anencephaly, which causes a baby to grow without parts of the brain and skull. Babies with the condition are stillborn or die shortly after birth. It affects around 1 in 4,600 babies born every year in the U.S., according to the CDC. There was also a hole in this baby's heart. Richter was 19 weeks pregnant. I mean, it was the worst news we could have gotten. It's still the worst news we've received in our lives. Doctors said Richter's life was also at risk. Because of the severity of our case, um, the, my amniotic fluid was on the verge of sepsis. Richter made the decision to terminate the pregnancy she had so badly wanted. She was still my baby and I carried her for almost 20 weeks by the time um, my procedure could be scheduled. Richter went on to get pregnant again and the couple now has a one-year-old boy. She shares her story with the hope others understand the different reasons someone may have an abortion. Removing access to this type of care is uh, is devastating for a lot of women, for any for any birthing body, honestly, this this could be anyone. Kate Raditz, CBS News, Minneapolis.